So hey guys, day 19 of SSS VEDA vlogging every day in April. Today's topic was our favorite home away from home. Going to be no surprise here that for us it's Disney. We go to Disney a lot. Uh, our friends all think we're crazy Disney nut kind of people. I actually know crazy Disney nut kind of people and I am not one of them. We have a lot of friends down there. We've met a lot of people through social media over the years. So we go down there quite a bit just to see friends. We do meet at the parks and so we go to the parks and hang out at the resorts and swim and do all kind of stuff. But if you haven't been to Disney in a long time, I uh, went a lot of times back in the 70s with my granddad, took me down there. It's about a four-hour drive from Savannah, so I've been to Disney a lot my whole life. There was a span that I didn't go for a little while, and then we kind of got back into it when I got married. So um, if you haven't been to Disney since the 70s or 80s or even the 90s some, you have no clue what, what's there or not there. And so whatever opinions you have are wrong, I can tell you right now. We go sometimes and don't even go to parks. Uh, it's it's not all going there and getting there at the butt crack of dawn, standing in line all day, sweating your behind off, um, spending the whole time standing in lines and grouchy and all that. There's people that do do that, but there's four parks now. There's two water parks. There's a whole shopping section called Downtown Disney that you don't even need a ticket to get into. Um, it's way different. There's all kind of shows, special events. We go every fall between um, late September and early October. It's about six to eight weeks or so in there. They do what's called the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot, which you walk around this big lake at Epcot that normally has countries around it anyway, but during that time frame, each country and then more countries that they bring in representation of has food and wine sampling so you basically walk around the world around the lake around the world and try food and wine and beer they've brought a lot of beer in now lately uh, used to be just canada and germany but there's beer everywhere now from all these different countries so you can walk around and try samples of food and wine and beer from all these different countries right now it's springtime and that's in the fall so in the springtime right now they do what's called the epcot flower and garden festival so it's all um flower and garden related obviously and they have all kind of cool stuff for that but they also kind of do a mini food and wine festival then it's not as big as the one in the fall um, it, both of them they have bands that come in so we've seen all kind of people play and it's free that part of it is just as long as you're in the park you can hear them um, beach boys and i mean it, some of it's older stuff like that some of it's newer i've seen boys to men has been there um, just all kind of taylor dane uh, kind of a, a 80s thing um, Let's see what else is there. Star Wars weekends are coming up. So like from mid-May on into June, they bring all kind of the, the real actors from Star Wars. They do all kind of cool stuff um, in that time uh, at Hollywood Studios. Uh, there's just all kind of events all year long. They do a trick-or-treat thing all the month of October. They do a Christmas thing in November and December. Uh, there's races. I go down there sometimes and just run races. They do a marathon in January. They've got half marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks now in January, February, um, May, uh, October, and November all have races in there. So if you're into running, uh, a lot of my friends run. So we meet up and, and have fun all weekend and eat and drink and then run half marathons. So uh, Disney is not all about standing in line for two hours to ride Space Mountain anymore. It's way different, way fun, and uh, I think I said in one of the other videos, we don't know why people bring kids to Disney because it's way more fun without them. So we, we do lots of adult-only trips, especially the food and wine trip, and uh, you just wouldn't believe the difference. So uh, if you haven't been in quite a while, go try it out. You'll, you'll think it's expensive at first, but for what you get, I think there's value. Uh, we get all kind of discounts on stuff because we have annual passes. We're part of the timeshare that's there called Disney Vacation Club. So we have a place to stay. So when we just up and decide, hey, let's go to Disney next weekend, it literally only costs us gas to get there and then food, which we get a 20% discount off of because we have annual passes to get into the parks. And then, um, you know, we have a place to stay already. So it's really not expensive for us. If, we, if you go a lot, there's things that you can do that make more sense. And so we can go many, many times for the price of what one family can go once every couple of years for. Uh, and it just makes sense for us. So we don't do a lot of other vacations. That might be one of the downsides. We don't tend to go on cruises and to the mountains and stuff like that very often. But I'm really more of a summertime person anyway, so I like warmer weather. I don't mind snow and cold and all that to go visit it, but then I want to leave it behind. So... Uh, Florida works well for us and Disney works well for us because of the, the, 
the passes and stuff that we have. So we go to Disney a lot, and I mean a lot, like probably five to nine times a year, depending on the year. I've done working trips there since I can work anywhere that I have Wi-Fi. Grab the laptop. I've, uh, I've got a, a voice over IP phone, so I can plug it right into the router in the room. And uh, I can work right from Disney. So we've done like eight-day trips from Saturday through the following Sunday week later. And I'll only take two or three vacation days off. I've got uh, sometimes I've blogged about it. I'll, I'll link to it in the video below or in the link below, description below. Can't spit it out today. Trying to hurry up. It's Saturday, so I'm trying to hurry up and wrap this up. So um, check out some of the stuff I'll link below. Go visit Disney. If you have any questions, definitely ask me. There's all kinds of blogs and forums about Disney I can point you to, whether you're into running or photography or food and uh, all kinds of stuff, wines. There's just so many cool things you can do there that's just not, let's go ride Small World and Dumbo anymore. Uh, everything is there, basically. The whole world is there. So um, see you guys tomorrow. We're fixing to scoot out of here and get something to eat. So we will see you guys on Sunday for a happy Easter video for a vlog here on Easter. My first Easter vlog. Uh, you know, maybe we'll hunt Easter eggs. I don't know. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.